Still swinging my sword all day long. Eee. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I remembered a fairy that I missed. It was in the room off to the side here. By the way, um, when you change the water back from its poison form, these flower, uh, the, the, the Venus flytrap like flowers, you can now stand on. They transform back into their friendly forms, I guess you could say. So, okay, I know there is a fairy back over in one of these side rooms with that, look at that cross formation, like where I had to push that block, but I forgot which direction that room was in. Goody! Let me just kind of wander around here. I think it was one of the ones adjacent to the room that I'm currently in. Let's just see here. Here, this is the one. Here we go. Now, with the power of an arrow, I can now... Uh, pff, I can't climb up there. With the power of an arrow, I can eventually get myself across there a little bit quicker. But <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, there we go. I didn't feel like pushing the block, apparently. Oh, shit! Shoot! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Ah! Yeah, you know what? I give up. I'll push the block. <laughs> there, it ended up being faster and gave myself a shortcut. So, alright, now what I want to do here is... Wait, wait, actually, do I even need to do that? Or can I just, like, touch the bubble from underneath here? Because so I thought I had to shoot the bubble to pop it. Um, oh, come on! I really could have just jumped in the... Ah, I'm an idiot! <laughs> I was going to shoot an arrow through the water in that opening at a slight angle, but... Ah, ah. Anyway, I'm going to go wander through... Oh, ah. <laughs> I'm going to go wander through the other rooms with the fairies mask on here and see if there are any other fairies missed. I don't think there were other than in the last room, which has a bunch of them. But I just, I just want to be sure here. So I'll I'll see if I'll tell you if it sparkles basically. <laughs> there was nothing at least on my quick run through of places. So I think the last four are indeed in the uh, last room. But I thought there was only three in the last room, but I could be wrong. I could be remembering wrong because as I said, it's just, I'm not an expert on this game, but I do know for sure there are fairies in here. So and you might have guessed why I'm not an expert at this game by now because I'm not I don't really care for playing it that much <laughs> All right, I just like to kill off the uh, dragonflies hanging out around here there we go there's, there's one in the flame there which you can just do that uh, what did I I hit the ladder are you kidding me ah there's one in the fire there which I can grab just thusly it'll just kind of come towards me now how's it going there all right, and um, I don't remember if I want to jump. Well, there's another one there, but I don't remember if I want to jump down right away or not because there's something I thought you had to do from a hot, from a higher location. Well, here's two. Yeah, I mean I know there's hitting that switch, but I can do that from a different one. I mean from a different location. Okay, let's just go down here and see how things are rocking out. Uh, I'm gonna go hop over here, put on this mask, and then, you know, maybe I'll go up and get these rupees over here. Because why not? You know, it seems like a good idea. So, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, there's another fairy over there. So that's a third. Oh, oh yeah, there was four in this room! Dang it, I searched around for nothing! Ah! Because, yeah, I'll, because the other one you gotta hit a switch to... Uh, there's the uh, 14th one. Yeah, that 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 one right there. Um, that switch, I do believe, is something that I need to do to get. I don't know. That's not for another fairy. That's for the pathway forward. But well, one thing at a time here. <laughs> Let's just take a look. See around here. There's some grass cut for some. Wait, actually, I'll show you what supplies they give you. Arrows and a rupee, I guess. So I guess the arrows are your biggest prize here. Alright. Oh, there's the last one. There it is. Woo! Yeah! 
Yeah, so we gotta go to the fairy fountain after this and drop them off. Um, you also gotta do something pretty vital after uh, beating this dungeon, because if you don't, you will regret it. Believe me, you will regret it. Because I've done it before. <laughs> oh boy, you'll see what I mean when I get to it. And those fire thingies, yeah, they reset by now. Of course they did. So what I will do is get out the bow and try and shoot this again. Gentle, gentle, PK Gam, what is with your touch today? Dang it. <laughs> this, this should not be that difficult for someone who has mastered a control stick for years. <laughs> By the way, very careful here. You might have seen a Skulltula above here. It can knock you off. Oh, where is it? There she is. <laughs> or he is. Whew. Okay. Now, um... How to get across there? Maybe... I, do I have to use the flower underneath? I don't remember having to... Oh, shoot! Great, I'm restarting from the beginning, sort of. Because, uh, yeah, it kind of puts me back up here, but I'm not sure if I can make this jump even as regular Link. Uh, oh, I can! Good! Very good, in fact. Because, yeah, I think... Oh, shoot, I waited too long, because that switch again. That's okay. We just gotta do this in one fell swoop. My touch is unbelievably bad. <laughs> Alright, let's put this back on. And you've seen me shoot with the utmost precision before. So it's, just, it's not really just a, a thing that's going on for... Oh, shoot. Well, actually, you know what? can I just like... Yeah. Uh, oh! What, what happened there? Why did it do that? I did not press the control stick in that direction whatsoever, I swear it! Ah! Ah, I say! Now the switch is gonna reset again. Great! But yeah, I don't know what happened there. Did like my controller switch off briefly or something? Because remember, I'm having wave bird issues for some reason, so maybe that... Maybe something happened there? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is I forgot to hit the switch again. I wonder if it would be easier to go all the way around to that end than just... I don't know, though. Because I just kind of want to show you how this is actually done. <laughs> Can I make this jump, though? Like, just as regular Link? Okay, that, that makes more sense, actually. And then we go take this around over to this platform here. And then we take this up over and over here. That's how it's done properly. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, hold on a sec. There's... Oh, wait, I don't have to actually go to those side platforms. I can go straight over to here. To get to those side platforms, though, um, I will probably have to kill these guys off because their back is facing you from this angle. And then I would have to go and use the flowers to get those rupees. But You know, since I explained that I, I really don't feel like doing this anymore. <laughs> this is Majora's Mask. <laughs> Alright, here's the boss. And it's kind of a funny, silly boss. And it's also pretty easy, but it should be. You know, it's the first boss of the game. Flashy. It's the Masked Jungle Warrior, Oldalwa! Bring it on! So if you get close to him, you'll be beaten! Do you understand me? She's hinting that you kind of need the bow. Yeah, that'll stun him. And then you start attacking him like crazy with your sword. Uh, but that isn't the only strat- oh, That isn't the only strategy that you can use here. See, there's a Deku Flower over here. You can go inside that Deku Flower, pop out of the Deku Flower, and then drop a drop a nut right on his head. Oh, I said drop a nut right on his head. <laughs> drop a nut on his head. I thought that I thought this worked on the. What? I thought this. Oh no! I'm thinking. Oh no! It does work. I was gonna say I'm thinking of the 3DS version where that's vital to do. But you also have more flowers in the 3DS version. So anyway, <laughs> let's just do this method because it seems a lot more accurate than dropping nuts on his head. There we go. Stun him. Attack him with your sword. Stun him. Up. Oh, he's going to unleash the critters! 
You don't necessarily have to kill the critters because he'll kill them himself using fire. Uh, but I'll I'll just show you what they are. They oh they, there's no oh I thought Tattle would have something to say about these critters, but that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that fire will kill him. Anyway, when he puts when he raises his arms, that's another great place to uh oh oh well you know what that works. He's just dancing around. As I said, this is a really silly boss. So it's not hard whatsoever. It's just the thing that I'm trying to mess around here to to show you all that he's got to offer, basically. Now, when he does this moth thing, um, you kind of wanna kind of wanna get away from that. And uh, actually, you know what? Yeah, I should probably. Yeah, there we go. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I wanted to switch to camera and, ah, uh, I'm just playing like a derp -a You don't switch to camera with the C buttons, dang it. I've been playing too much Banjo-Kazooie lately. Yeah, I've, I've actually been replaying. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, if you know the controls, you have to see the walkthrough to, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so I'm gonna stop messing around here, just shoot him when I should be shooting him, and attacking him when I should be attacking him. By the way, um, when he has those moths out, what you could be doing here is picking the bomb flowers and throwing it. Yeah, because that's another way to get rid of the moths. So, yeah. <laughs> and he also drops blocks down from the ceiling here. That's another thing that he... so... Not really anything of a big deal or anything like that, and I did not pull out my shield quick enough for that. I am so sorry. <laughs> and yes, he also burns his own moths down. And if you don't realize what he's doing right here, I'm right underneath him in the middle. And uh, for some reason, you don't get attacked by that spin attack of his if you're right in the middle of that. Isn't that dumb? <laughs> That's what I was waiting to show you while I was messing around. I don't really. Oh, oh, I wasn't close enough to him that time. But yeah, is that isn't that really dumb that it's such an oversight? <laughs> and in this phase of the battle, he'll just keep doing this over and over until he gets kind of. And I'll try try and pin you a little bit there. But the objective is just always. Oh, the objective is just to always get close and, and give him a whack. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's like three phases of the battle. There's the. There's the bug and moth phase, and then there is the, uh... <laughs> he got through my shield somehow. And then, and so there's the regular phase when you start off, where you just kind of figure out how to attack him with the bow. Then there's the second phase where he's got the moths and the critters. And then the third phase where he does that aggressive spinny attack thing. And yeah, that's all the stuff that I wanted to show you on the boss, which is why it took me so long to defeat him. Otherwise, it's really easy to defeat him, as I said, because you just you just gotta shoot him with the bow at the right times. Anyway, I got another heart container there, and there we go. You know, maybe it was good that I increased my health to six, just so I would have extra health to be able to show you all the stuff on the boss, hey? <laughs> anyway, I got old Dalwa's remains. I have freed the innocent spirit that kept this dark mass. I mean, that this dark mask had kept in prison within the body of evil old Dalwa. Yes, actually, that was that's kind of a conflict, conflicting saying because okay, there's a. It, it says innocent spirit that the dark mass had kept imprisoned. But then it says within the body of evil Odalwa. So are they saying that Odalwa was already evil but yet innocent, or are they saying that the mask transformed Odalwa into evil Odalwa? I I, th I think it's got to be the latter, but I, I think there's some sort of grammatical issue going on there. <laughs> anyway, the first temple is complete, but we have still have to come back here at one point because of that dang frog. Ah! Ah, anyway, cutscene time. We got that dizzying effect, that blurry dizzying effect throughout the whole thing. Whenever there's motion on one of these things, just like why is that there? I don't. I, th I think they're trying to be dramatic with it, but it just I don't know. <laughs> What's that? Uh, uh, there's something, something in the clouds. And it has something to say to us. It's saying, Evil Voice Guy, stop making PKK on play this horrible game. 
Wait, listen, it seems to be saying something. Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? Don't just stand there. Get your instrument. And you whip it out automatically. It's a slow song. But I'll probably end up playing it a lot quicker when it actually... <laughs> but I'll play it normally the first time. Listen. What? I pressed right. <laughs> I swear I did. <laughs> Here's in the notch on the C stick. Ah, oh, whatever. I played it and I don't have to replay it. It's the Oath to Order. What is the song used for? Find out later. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean much later. <laughs> Alright, so we got a new song, we beat the dungeon, we got a mask, we got a heart container, we got 15 freaking fairies. <laughs> I learned the oath to order. Yes. Eh, you'll be fine. I, 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 I believe in you. You don't have to cry, he'll be just focused. You'll be okay. <laughs> Kirala. That's what it's saying. <laughs> Alright. We're out. We're out. And now that we defeated the dungeon, the poison water is gone. Until you reset time. <laughs> yeah, the whole reset time thing just makes it feel like our achievements just don't really mean all that much, but well, we do get checkpoints at certain stuff when we collect certain stuff like masks, items, and whatnot. And you know, you know how I said we 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 can't hard save our game. Well, yeah, we still can't. The four people Tal talked about. Do you think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Oh, hey, you're pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? Well, maybe I have. <laughs> just a few times. <laughs> no, just keep up that pace and save the other three. Hey, hey! Um... Hmm? Mmm. All that stuff I did to you, your horse, I... I apologize. Sorry. There, I apologize. Don't hold it against me, got it? <laughs> she she sounds a lot more genuine this time. Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. So now our next step is the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that skull kid. And now... See this? See this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Look at that! It's. It's. Yes! It's the imprisoned Deku girl! How. How? Just. Oh no! Anyway, you just cut this. <laughs> we, we are automatically transported here. How did that happen? It was from the light. Wow! Well, who are you? Link, pleased to meet you. I'm the Deku princess. Were you by chance asked by that monkey to come save me? Why, yes, at some point in time. Get it? <laughs> ah, just as I suspected. You see, your body sells a little bit like monkey. Uh, so the monkey made it back funny after all. That's good. Why are you smelling me? <laughs> anyway? I was worried that when I didn't come here, my father would think that the monkey had kidnapped me. Well, he kinda did. I was worried that my father would keep going even so far as to punish the poor monkey. <laughs> um. Uh... Don't tell me. Are you serious? Is father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, father. And she is peeled about this, for good reason. Well, we don't have time to lose. We're gonna get this link. Can you please to find something to carry me so you can take me to the Deco Palace? And we cannot go past there until we figure out something to carry her in. And since we needed to get a bottle to even reach this point in the game, guess what we need to use to carry her in? Well, we gotta empty out the... yeah. I didn't need to use the fairy at all, but that is okay. <laughs> 
I just have it there for the sake of having it there. Somehow she can fit in here and she turns into a yellow liquid. You put the Deku princess in a bottle. It's a tight fit, but she says she'll be fine if you hurry. You see to let her out. Ah, oh, Mr. Link, there's no time to lose. Hurry, take me to the palace. If you let her out here, it won't actually do anything. She's like an event item at this moment in time, but anyway. All right, let's go out through here now and head over to the fairy's fountain. Which I do believe I still need that to do. Because, yeah, um. Where was that entrance to the fairy fountain? <laughs> I just want to drop off the fairies that I collected. Oh, it's on the other side. That's right. Okay. So I'll just transform into this and I'll see you back over there and I reach a flower that I can use to bridge that gap. Wait, actually, couldn't I use the Song of Soaring to get there a little faster? Maybe. I'm not really sure at this point. <laughs> yeah, it would have just been easier using the Song of Soaring. Because there is the owl statue and whatnot, which, lead, which led over to here. And then this leads over to the fairy fountain. Don't go in here until you get all 15 fairies. Well, I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to see the dialogue like I showed you before, but... Yeah, you don't really have to go to these fairy fountains. Unless you, uh... Really, really want to see that dialogue. <laughs> There we go! And the your eyes! It's another one! It's another one! Why? Why? Oh, oh strong young one, I am the great fairy of power! Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal, as thanks against you prowess with this new sword technique! And now we get... And now we get... Dizzy! <laughs> Again. So now we can make the power of our sword spin attack much larger! Woo! You messed the spin attack. Press and hold the B button to power your weapon with magic. You release B your sword and unleash a whirlwind of energy as you spin around. Disrupt the energy quickly without having to charge your weapon. Rotate the control stick once and press B. Come see me again whenever you are overcome by weariness. Yes. Alright, so let's get out. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to. I hit the wrong... <laughs> I confused the Y and the X button. But okay, so you pull out your sword. Supercharge, but look, it uses a bit of magic power. But we got a lot more power to it, so yes. Yes, and that is the key to killing off all those wiggly moving bushes at once, by the way. <laughs> That's just this is another thing to keep that in mind. So I'll get to those wiggly bushes some other time. For now, I'm gonna go head over to the Deku Palace where the king is now, and I'll see you there. Check this out. Going outside the entrance to that area leads us directly to the palace. Oh, how handy is that? <laughs> so yeah, that's just a little shortcut so you don't have to do all those flower jumping and dragonfly issues along the way. So, alright, let's hear about that punishment to the monkey again. Yes, yes, I, 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 I'm, I'm aware of the public humiliation of the monkey. I heard about that during another time period, but this time is different. This time, I have rescued the Deku Princess. And this time... Why oh, are you waiting, Mr. Link? Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to click through the dialogue. Well, whatever, whatever. Let's... It doesn't work there. Alright, fine. Do I have to be closer? If I have to be closer, I will be closer, dang it. There we go. Camera. <laughs> Alright, camera or not. There we go. She has been rescued. Oh, my princess. My darling princess. You all right. I was so worried. Uh, foolish father! Attack! <laughs> Oh man, then she's got the look of death in her eyes. What are you doing? Let that monkey go in this instant! And the monkey is saved. Thanks to the Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> oh, Mr. Monkey, I'm truly sorry. Father does such rash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about that. Has the temple been returned to normal? Oh yes, thanks to Mr. Link here. I'm very, truly grateful. 
Really? So you're called Link, are you? Remember, we, we didn't meet him on this timeline. Thank you for keeping your promise to me. Um. 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 Wait a second. Wait a second. Did you... Because remember, I reset time, so he's acting like I met him before. But I didn't. I see a little plot hole there. As a symbol of our gratitude, our butler has prepared a little something for you. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine that will be to your right when you leave the palace. <clears throat> Alright. Ah. Ah. But we're still not done. We still, <laughs> we still can't really save. Like, hard save. So let's just get out our Picto box here. Alright, oh, that's... I'd like to kind of do something here. Uh, wait, no, I don't- I actually need this on, don't I? Yeah, let's put this and take a picture of the king. Uh, no, actually, I'll get a- I'll get a better picture to make sure that the picture actually registers and stuff like that. So here we go, I'll get it- get it from a decent angle. There we go. I do like a three- a two-thirds composition. But, uh, nah, that-, that, that that's fine. I just want to make sure it registers. <laughs> Now, as you'll notice, because I transformed back to the human, I'm no longer booted out. Well, that's because they now trust us, I, I guess. Oh, I didn't want to didn't want to speak with you again. You can change into many things, can't you? Very strange indeed. Well, at least they trust me. I don't know if they trust all humans. It seems our butler has taken somewhat of a liking to you, Mr. Link. I believe we shall find them waiting in that shrine that will lead to your right when you leave the palace. I shall never forget you have done for us, but please forgive me if I refuse to ride in that tiny little bottle ever again. I don't blame you. You had to liquefy yourself to be able to ride in that thing. <laughs> Link, I'm so sorry for all that trouble. Now it looks like we monkeys and Deku scopes and start getting along again. You know, the song may be back to normal, but something still gives me a bad feeling. I wonder what it could be. Maybe it's Majora's Mask. Or maybe it's just the game in general, because you're in it. We're about to punish an innocent monkey! Oh, this is the points of the swamp been cleared up. Yup, that means we can now go to those places we couldn't get to before. Yup, yup, yup! But okay, we're done here. We can head on out. And I wonder if they told these scrubs about me. Um... Um... Yes, they did. Because <laughs> they don't... They don't stop me, they don't say anything to me. Alright, now remember this pathway over here? This is the thing that I forgot to get in another playthrough while I went to explore the other side of the courtyard with the heart piece. Because on my first playthrough, I actually went- whoops! I actually went over to the, um... Uh... To the correct side first and got the bean and whatnot, so... Yeah, I, I kind of ended up missing this because I, I wanted to go to the other side of the courtyard for a while and I kept it in mind. So that I thought, oh, okay, I'll just go to the side of the castle afterwards, and I forgot to. And then I ended up stuck later on in the game, and it sucked. So, here we go. So yeah, I literally had to rebeat the boss in order to reach this place. And I recommend you take off this mask to pull this off. Hey, how's it going? Link, I am truly thankful for what you have done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we Deku have prepared something that we would we think may assist you. I will I will lead you to it. Remember Dampe the Gravekeeper's race underground at his grave? Guess what? It has frickin' return! And you have very little time to do it like you did before. So try and stick close to him by using your rolling. And you can't talk to any of these scrubs, by the way. So don't bother. They're just kind of there as detailing. They're they're friendly scrubs though, so don't worry. And make sure that you jump these gaps. Otherwise, you'll do that and yeah. <laughs> Which way did you? Did he go this way? Um, I don't think he went that. Oh wait, he did go this way. That's right. Okay, okay, go 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 go. Holy poopers, holy poopers. I'm just trying to remember my way because I I lost track of where he is. But it's okay as long as I remember where I need to go. And there we go, and now here's a little shortcut if you dare take it. That is a shortcut of scariness like no other, <laughs> but it is indeed possible to do. And I thought I would dare to show it just because. Alright, and ah, and another reason why I'm out of my Deku form here is because it's just feels a little bit easier to kind of avoid fire, because I believe if I touch the fire stuff, I will automatically reset the area, which sucks. 
So let's not even go down that route, route and stay human. Or, oh shoot, that's right, this one is a lefty, yup. That's correct. I can't believe I memorized this whole route. That this just feels crazy. Now this is the point where you can touch fire and it'll hurt you, so don't be a Deku. I, I, you will regret being a Deku. Uh, the butler will show you the correct route through this, if you don't know this route like I do. But you gotta be close enough to be able to, yeah. And by the way, don't touch those slopes, you'll just slide right down. Just make it as quick as possible. You don't want to redo this if you can help it. There we go. I, that boulder, oh shoot, that boulder was in a very good spot when I got to that spot, so I was able to go right after it. I think he went to this way this time. Yep, I was correct. The, all those other stuff are just like dead ends. It just, just they're there to mess with you. Oh shoot, I'm being trolled by the dead end. <laughs> Alright, now we got another sort of thingy here. He's just going nice and slow so we can catch up to him here. So we do that, adjust the camera accordingly, and make these jumps before he gets too far away from you. We're almost at the end now, so just keep going. Just keep going. As tempting as it might be to explore the other spots, there really just isn't anything there. <laughs> I mean, some of them I think have rupees and stuff, but... We made it! And it's not worth doing this more than once. Well done, Link! Now, here's the item I promised. Please accept it. I got the Mask of Sense! This mask heightens your sense of smell. And remember, um... Kotake? I think it was her... It was, it was either Kot Kotake or Kotake, but I mean... But yeah, one of those two... Uh, potion sellers and boats... Boats, a tourist guide thing... They said that she lost the power of her whiffer as time went on. She can't find mushrooms anymore. That is what this mask is used for. It's used for finding mushrooms in that forest. But we don't really even need to use this now until much, much later. So, but you definitely, definitely want to get this. Sniff, sniff. That is the smell of power. Because you need this to complete the game, I do believe. Actually, when I see you, I'm reminded of my son who left home long ago. Somehow I feel as if I am once again racing with my son. Racing with my son? Is Dampe the Gravekeeper your son? <laughs> I'm afraid I might have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I, still am a, I am still a fast competitor. Just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. Eh, it's okay. We made it through on the first try anyway. Actually, when I see you, I'm reminded of my son who left home long ago. Somehow I feel as if I am once again racing with my son. I'm afraid I may have tried... Da, 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 da. Okay. It is the same dialogue. Now, um... Remember I was saying that the, that the other scrubs won't talk to you? That still applies here. Does this fire hurt you? Okay, this fire doesn't hurt you, but that those other firewalls do hurt you. I was just kind of curious about that. Wait, what about this green fire? Or yellowish fire? It's like yellow-green fire in a way. Maybe it's just the lighting or something. I don't know. Alright, let's just go on ahead here. This will pop us out of here because we're trapped in here otherwise, so this is the only way out. And now we are out. Now what I'd like to do is head on... Oh shoot. Uh, actually... Oh, poopers. I, I already jumped in the water. I was going to say, use the Song of Soaring and get back over to that boat hut. Well, now I can't use my ocarina because I jumped in the water... I had, like, without thinking about it, like a doofus. Anyway, Song of Soaring when I'm able to do it. Let's go. There's a lot of doofusy things I'm doing in this part, too, so... I think after I finish this, I'm probably best off ending off the part. But now, um, remember the guy at the boat that he wanted a picture of something? Well, you can either take a picture of the Deku King, like I did, or you can take a picture of his son, Tingle, and you'll still get this heart piece. So, here we go. Let's go, and up here. How's it going there? Blimey, where is he? That spoiled child is off playing hooky again. A child is aided. No business searching for fairies. Remember, Tingle? Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> welcome. Uh-huh, I got the pictograph. Here is the pictograph. Yes, I will. I just wanted to... Uh, what? It ended. Uh... What? Do I really have to... Uh, really? I can't do... Now I can't do this now? See, you're, you're supposed to give you a heart piece. If, yeah, um... Anyway, what does this... Can I check the sign now, just out of curiosity? Um... So... 
Hmm. Uh, uh, poopers. <laughs> so I, maybe I can only do it on the first day? Or maybe before the temple is... Well, I'll do this later then. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'll, I'll show you both pictures, like his reaction to both pictures. But for now, what I'm just going to do is Song of Sewing back over to Clock Town to put my rupees in the bank, and then finally, finally, hard save the game. <laughs> it's been a long time without a hard save again. And there's gonna be more like it as we go through more dungeons. Because you see, even if you decided to say save your game after you got that bow, um, you'd still have to recollect all 15 of those fairy- well, whatever, how many fairies you've already collected thus far. Because they don't save. So you're still kind of forced to do the dungeon all the way from the start every time you reset time. Which blows. And along with all the other stuff that comes after the dungeon, like that, um... That, that, that whole racing thing through the underground area. Well, sort of kind of underground. It's like a separate passageway of sorts, but anyway. Oops, one more over there. Voila, there we go. So yeah, I'll get to that boat thing, I should say that boat heart piece in the next part. Oh shoot. There we go, but for now I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I hopefully finally get a grasp as to which button relates to which on the controller's C-stick when I'm playing the ocarina on other buttons. <laughs> Seriously, it seems like I will never ever be able to get it at this point, but I promise you I will at some point.